before they get to the toy store, before they even get molded, their concept art. Let's look at some vintage Star Wars Kenner toys concept art. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. And what are we going to talk about today? Well, you already know. We're going to look at concept art to Kenner Star Wars toys. Some of this looks close to what did get released. Some of it looks totally different than got released. And some of it never even got released. I thought it'd be a little fun to take a look at this concept art. Now, before we do that, I just have to remind you, JunkmanMerch.com, where you go to get the coolest pop culture Jumpman style shirts like this one right here and even that one right there now got that out of the way let's look at some vintage Kenner Star Wars concept art and I figured it was best to start with the card back it's iconic now that original card but they did have a few different designs now I've already done a whole video looking at some of these early designs for the card back but I figured at least pull up one here to take a look so let's take a look Here's the concept drawing. As you can see, the package would have been a little different. Got Star Wars logo at the top, and you got a little place for the figure, and then a picture from the film. Not radically different, but as you can see, it would have been somewhat different. To me, it doesn't look bad, but it's still not as iconic as the package we did get. What about the back of the card? Now, I really don't like this design. I'm glad they didn't go with it. It reminds me of something like a TV guy ad for Battle of the Network Stars or something, or maybe the Love Boat. Check it out. They were going to put the figures you also could collect on the back of the cart inside of a color star. Again, this seems a little cheesy, and I'm glad they didn't do it. What about the Kenner 12-inch line? Let's look at two concept arts from that line. First up, you have this dad doing a Han Solo cosplay. That's right, it looks like a dad. It doesn't look like Harrison Ford, but this is the concept art for the large-scale action figure line. And who is this? Well, only one person can be this bold. It's Darth Vader. And again, this is concept for the large action figure line. One of the coolest playsets, besides the Death Star, was the Cantina playset. This thing was great as a kid. I loved it. It had the bar doors that swung open, had action levers so you could knock your figures down, uh, had everything, had a place for a bartender, but no bartender action figure. Oh well, I just had Hammerhead run the bar. But this was a cool playset. Let's look at the concept art for it. As you can see, it's a little different, but not totally different for sure. The door is still in the same place, but you got the bar area moved over to the side. But with the release, the bar area is moved to the center of the playset. The thing I get asked the most is, Junkman, why can't you say words right? And the second thing I get asked the most is, Junkman, why didn't they make a Rebel Trooper for the vintage Star Wars Kenner line? Well, if you look at this concept of two figures, it looks like we may have almost got it. Here's two concepts. The Death Squad Commander and what looks to be a Rebel Trooper. Looks like the plan was either to use the same figure and just paint it different, which I can understand because sometimes when I play with my Star Wars figures, I use the Death Squad Commander as a Rebel Trooper. But you can see here they did think about releasing a Rebel Trooper. One thing we really love is Boba Fett. Let's be honest, everybody loves Boba Fett. And of course, we got a Boba Fett figure, but we almost got a Boba Fett vehicle that wasn't the slick. Not right, I'll say that word. Sorry, I don't want to get demonetized. Let's look at the toy we almost got for Boba Fett to ride on, and it's from the Holiday Special. Here's the serpent or dragon thing that he rides in the Holiday Special. As you can see, the art was done in 1978. They would have released this along with the Holiday Special Wookiee figures and some more. I've done a whole video of my theory that Series 2 of the Star Wars figures were going to be holiday special related. And you can check that out on this channel. And here's the Sea Serpent. Man, this would have been a great thing to have. This would have been awesome. Well, we didn't get a Sea Serpent for Boa Fett to ride on, but we did get a Dubek to put your figures in. They would kind of stand up in it, but it made it look like it was sitting down. It was kind of neat for the time, a little spring loading door on top of it. Let's look at the concept art for the Dubek. As you can see, this looks a lot different than what we got. First, you got a stormtrooper over there reading his diary or something. I guess that's just to show scale. And you got the dewback that looks more like a lizard and doesn't look anything like the dewback we got. In fact, it looks more like this early prototype of the dewback. Somewhere along the line, they changed their plans and redesigned the dewback. Dewback, dewback, you got the cutest little dewback, dewback, you got the cutest little dewback. Do back. Maybe got to do back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's look at the ships. We're going to look at two different ones. First, we're going to look at a ship that hovers across the sand and another one that 
hovers across the stars. Let's look. Here it is. The concept art for the Land Speeder. One of my favorite toys as a kid. I love the Land Speeder, and I'm sure you did also. It was a lot of fun. Unless you bought it in the UK under Pal Toys where the hood wouldn't open. Why? Why didn't the hood open? That's stupid. And here's Luke Skywalker's mighty ship, the X-Wing. Why they colored it blue for the concept art? I'll never know. Now when it comes to the Kenner Star Wars toys, there's one toy that I've probably talked about more than any. And I don't know why. It just seems like I always find out something new to say about it. And that's the Imperial Troop Transporter. That's right. I made more videos, I think, about that than any other vehicle on the line. And here's the concept art for it. It looks like what we got. Now, there was some different concept art for some earlier designs, but like I said, I've done a video on that before. But it's got the little places to put the figure, and you can see the door swings open to put a figure inside. Now that we're done with Star Wars, or what you kids call a new hope, let's head over to The Empire Strikes Back. And we'll start on the coldest planet of them all, Dagobah. I mean, I mean, Hoth. This is beautiful. Star Wars collector Gus Lopez has this frame been in his house, and I have to admit, I'm pretty jealous. That's a nice looking concept art right there of the ad ad. No, it's not an AT AT, it's an ad ad. And don't say, if you say ad ad, then why don't you say AT ST? ST. Please don't be that guy in the comment section below. Well, we've mostly been looking at stuff action figure related. Well, what about a toy that puts you in the action? Let's take a look at this. This would have been a ride on snow speeder toy game it shines the image on the wall and you get to take a shot at it man that looks cool even if the kid is putting his feet on the wall and that would have got you a scalding from your mom for sure but would this mom's kid even have a reason to be upset i mean look at this kid she gave him an onion haircut yep his haircut looks like an onion so it seems like the boy with the feet on the wall and the mom authorizing the haircut would both be in trouble with this one now we looked at the large scale action figure line of Han Solo and Darth Vader, but what about Empire Strikes Back? That's right, there were going to be large size action figures of Empire Strikes Back, and one of them, of course, would have been Luke in Bespin gear. Let's take a look. This is kind of a silly looking concept art, to be honest. I don't know why he has rosy cheeks, maybe he's embarrassed, but here's Luke Skywalker in his Bespin outfit. One thing we all love, well, maybe not all of us, is mini rigs, and we almost got this mini rig. The SRV-1, look at this. Now, I've done a whole video on this mini rig again, so check that out. I'll probably link to something at the end of this video, so check it out. And although this is classified as mini rig, it might be a little bigger than actually a mini rig, but it's very cool and would have been nice to see this release, but I'm not a big fan of non-movie stuff being released. So I don't so I really have mixed feelings about this one. Believe it or not, that's it for The Empire Strikes Back that we're going to look at at least today. So let's head over to... Return of the Jedi. Well, here's the concept art for the Ewok Village for the Return of the Jedi collection. As you can see, it mostly looks like what we got. And it's a really well detailed for concept art. Now, what if playsets wasn't your thing and you wanted to play Star Wars? Well, check this out. Now, at first glance, this does look like an actual photo, but this is concept art. Someone was really talented. It's a Jedi training set. Of course, it would come with the Han or Luke pistol that was already released. But it looks like you would pick up some binoculars, some kind of little cantina, a belt buckle that says Jedi, a holster for the gun, and some other little gadgets. This would have been cool if it made it to a release. I don't see why it didn't. We looked at the action figures. We looked at the big action figures. Well, what about the micro action figures? Check this out. Now, this is another one I've done a whole video on. But this is Jabba's Dungeon Room, and it would have been released in a Return of the Jedi micro collection line. Sadly, the line was canceled before we could get any Return of the Jedi micro collection toys. And let's go look at another mini rig. This one I don't have a name for. This looks like some kind of early concept for a mini rig. Again, there's really no name for it. Maybe some Kenner artist just threw it up with a maybe. It has a TIE fighter in the back shooting at this little blue ship. Now, there's one thing we all love about Return of the Jedi more than anything else, and that's Ewoks. And, of course, there was a slew of Ewok toys. Check these out. Here's a little train set concept art that never got released. I guess a little too cute for us hardcore Star Wars fans. But if you were about six when Return of the Jedi came out, you would have wanted this, but sadly it didn't get released. And here's another one with two Ewoks and a string and a can. I'm not really sure what this is. There's really no description for it and it's kind of a mystery. At first I thought maybe it was some kind of like phone system, you know, like they used to have tie two cans together. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think this toy would have been. It's very strange looking for sure. And let's look at one more. And this one comes from the Star Wars Droids line. Which is a ship that should have been in the regular toy line. Almost was. But then when they canceled the line they moved it over the droids. So you know what I'm talking about. One of the coolest ships in Star Wars. The A-Wing. This is a beautiful concept artwork right here. As you can see the A-Wing on the droid package. This other angle here shows the beautiful artwork made by Kenner. I'm guessing that Hasbro owned the rights to these concept art. I don't know why they don't just frame up of and sell them. But then again, we're talking Hasbro here. They don't like you to give them money. Well, that's a look at some concept art from the original Kenner Star Wars toy line. Did you enjoy that? Man, I sure did enjoy looking at them and showing them to you. So hopefully you enjoyed them also. Well, I guess that's about it. Let me know in the comments below, what was that Ewok thing? Or anything else you want me to know. And as always, stop up to like my content. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>